Her name was Marianina Rosina Sacco. And she was born more than 100 years ago in a rock hovel in southern Italy with dirt floors and the chickens on the inside, and it was a very tough life. And when she was seven years old, she and her mother and her five-year-old sister, Laurita, migrated to the United States into Boston to meet their father, who had already come. She didn't know it at the time, but she was quarantined for medical reasons for two weeks. Not a person around her understood her language. She was scared to death. She never knew whether she would see her mother or father again in her life. But she did. They were reunited. And in fact, she grew up to marry another Italian boy. And together they built a very successful business and raised four children, two CPAs, a successful businessman, and a successful educator. Now I'm telling you that story for three reasons. One, it's personal. That successful educator she raised has been my wife for 42 years, Paula Fusi. And number two, my mother-in-law, who is the strongest person I know, and oftentimes would go days without speaking more than 10 or 15 years, would on occasion invoke this painful memory. We know that separating children from their mothers and their families is wrong. It's morally reprehensible, and it can do long-term damage to their development. We know that. There's science here. Psychiatrists and psychologists and healthcare workers. There's science behind why this is morally wrong. The hidden injuries can stay with them forever. And that's why families belong together. Families belong together. Families belong together. Families belong together. Facing Donald Trump, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Set these children free, set these children free. Yes, we're gonna let it shine, set these children free. Yes, we're gonna let it shine.